Hello all. So I'm going to be vacuuming down this mini split, so I thought I'd do a video on it and how you can do it with analog gauges. I know a lot of people are using uh, micron gauges or digital gauges these days, which are pretty good, but uh, they cost a lot more and, and they're not really necessary. Analog gauge has been used for a long time. Uh, the digital one's really only been around the last five, ten years, really. So I'm going to go through the steps on how you can go about doing this. And it's really easy to do. Um, Basically, we're just going to set the whole line set into a vacuum. We've got to make sure it holds. And as long as it holds, there's no leaks. So basically, we're just going to be using the, this low pressure blue side. We're not even going to be using this side over here. And it's going to go through to the center to the vacuum pump and just vacuum it down. That's pretty much it. And we're going to watch this uh, gauge right here. As it goes from zero, it'll go into a negative pressure. And we're going to want to let it run for a while, like 20, 30 minutes. And then we're going to want to see if it holds. So I'm just going to take this back center one here and uh, going to hook it up to the vacuum pump. These back here, they're just to keep the dirt out of your lines. They don't go to anything when they're hooked up on the back here. So I'm just going to remove these and I'm going to hook it up right here to the vacuum pump. So this is the middle yellow center one. And this blue one here comes on out. I'm going to take this off the back. And all these mini splits, they always need a little adapter to hook up. I'll put a link down in the description for this, what I'm using here, but it's just a little adapter that goes from these mini splits uh, to a standard uh, gauge. They're real cheap, but they're, they can be a pain if you don't have one and you don't realize you need one. So, like I said, we're just using a little, a little adapter. Okay, just make sure everything's on there good and tight. So basically, I just got this, this low pressure line is just hooked up straight to the unit. So it's gonna be the only connection on a mini split. And it's coming right up here to this blue gauge is what we're gonna be using. And we gotta run it over to our vacuum pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this vacuum pump on. And we're gonna go ahead and open up this side right here for the low pressure side. And there it goes, it's starting to vacuum down. And as you can see, it's going into the negative right now, but we wanna let that run. We wanna let this vacuum pump run for at least, I don't know, 20 minutes, if not half an hour, and make sure it pulls a really good deep vacuum is what we wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for at least 20 minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and it's been running for a good 25 30 minutes and it's as you can see it's way down It's at a negative pressure Started off at zero. So it's way down. It's negative 30 right now. Be sure to turn this blue all the way off So turn your your blue valve uh, off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off And now I'm just gonna let it sit for uh for another good 20 minutes and I'm just gonna make sure it holds the this negative pressure and uh, you can't let this sit longer I mean you could even let it sit overnight or something if it starts to lose its pressure then we know we got a leak so I'll be right back okay so I'm back and it's been sitting for a good hour and as you can see it's in the same spot it's right there at that negative 30 and like I said if you wanted to you can let this sit overnight or for a day even and see if the negative pressure goes back up to zero. Um, but, but that basically, I, I just let it sit for an hour or so. And if this doesn't move back up to zero or close, uh, lose any pressure, then I go ahead and let the refrigerant in. So in order to let the refrigerant in, there's a, a certain steps you have to follow. And the refrigerant is inside of the condensing unit and they'll be underneath these caps right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these, I already loosened them up with my uh, crescent wrench here. And we're just gonna wanna let the refrigerant in. So before you do this, make sure your lines are really good and they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're in a vacuum, there's no leaks. It, that's the main goal is, is when you vacuum this down is to make sure that these, uh, this line set 
is in a vacuum and has no leaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this refrigerant in. And just turn it all the way out. And turn this one and just let it all the way out. So they're all the way up. And the next step is to go ahead and uh, let this off as quick as you can. A little bit of Freon will come out, or a little bit of refrigerant will come out, but that's okay. We just don't want, you know, we had to let that loose so we don't break the vacuum. So I'm just gonna do this real fast. Okay, so that's, that's off. And then, we just want to put our caps back on. And we're going to want to tighten them up a little bit. Just in case they leak later. And that's basically it.